In this video, I'm going to show you how to put objects underwater in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this huge fish look like it is underwater. And you're gonna learn several techniques to separate the highlights and the shadows and put them on top of the subject to get a realistic effect. So this is the image of the fish that we're gonna be using and you're gonna need to remove the background first. You can use the pen tool for that to trace the subject out of the background. Once you do that, right click on the path and choose make selection. Give it a feather of one pixel or less and click OK. Then create a layer mask to hide the background. Now click on Ctrl or Command T to transform the fish and place it wherever you want. I wanna make it look like it is a giant fish, so I'm gonna leave it the same size. Now to make it look like it is underneath the water, we're gonna do that in several steps. So the first thing you're gonna do is make a copy of the background layer and drag it to the top by holding Alt or Option. And what you need to do next is change the blending mode to lighten. This will make sure that only the highlights are visible, therefore we will get the texture of the water on top of the subject and that will give us the effect that we are looking for that the fish is under the water. Now we're not done yet, this still doesn't look the way we want it yet, so you are going to make another copy of the background layer on top, this time go to channels and choose a channel that has most of the water texture and less contrast. In this case we're gonna choose the blue channel and then load the highlights as a selection by holding command or control and clicking on the thumbnail. Now click on the RGB channel to go back to RGB mode and with the selection active, add the layer mask to the layer we just copied. This will add another layer of highlights on top of the fish and we can enhance it even more by reducing the contrast of the layer mask with levels. So to do that, make sure the layer mask is selected, then click on control or command L and then you're gonna drag the mid tones and the highlight slider to the left to reduce the contrast and make the layer mask less visible. So in this case, some parts of the fish still doesn't look realistic. So what we can do is duplicate the layer by clicking on Ctrl or Command J. You're gonna leave the layer mask as is. Instead, group the layer mask and then add an inverted layer mask to the group using Alt or Option. That's gonna hide the layer altogether and then take the brush tool, change the foreground color to white and paint on the areas that you wanna restore with a low flow. And now because we did all of this on separate layers on top of the fish layer, we can move the fish anywhere we want and the underwater effect is still gonna look very realistic. Alright, that's how you can make anything look like it is underwater by using the power of channels and blending modes. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. This will help the YouTube algorithm discover the channel and surface it to more people. So that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.